The earlier settlers in Nobleboro and towns all around through Maine, they found the Elwiser running up and down all these streams from salt water to spawn in fresh water. But then on all these important streams, the early settlers were putting up sawmills and grist mills. So they, had a, they dammed up all these streams. So with all these dams across the streams, the Elwiser no longer could go up to spawn in the lakes. So we were making it pretty, pretty tough for the Elwiser. The two towns of Nobleboro and Newcastle chipped in money on the taxes and they established what's now the Elwai stream or the fish ladder. And uh, that was finished, pretty well finished by 1809. We really have three streams at Damascotta Mills. There's the main stream, which is the western one, on which the electrical power plant is located. And that's where the grist mills used to be located. And then at the top, we had the double sawmills. Then later on, we had the match factories. We had the leatherboard factory. And at one time, we had a, uh, we had an iron foundry. So that was a big business on the mainstream. In addition to helping the alewives reach their spawning grounds, the fish ladder provided access for harvesting. Processing alewives became an industry that required the labor and skills of many local men and women. Some men, who were log drivers and woodsmen in winter and farmers in summer, were alewife dippers and packers in the spring. The work was physically demanding, the pay minimal. But people looked forward to the run because it provided an income in an area where livelihoods depended on a patchwork of seasonal jobs. For the workers, their families, and the rest of the community, this was also a spectacle, a yearly event that provided entertainment and memories connecting the generations. <laughs>